Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for ninth. So this is for Tuesday, the ninth. But keep in mind that the timing is fluid, so you know, right around the ninth. What do we have? I think we have a new beginning. I do. I, I do. I think. I mean, I was, I was seeing the world card, you know, so a completion, a major completion, which leads to a new beginning, a big new beginning. It's like one phase, one phase of your life is over and it's time to embark on that next journey. So, you know, that's what I'm seeing. A major completion. Somebody's learned a big lesson and they're ready. They're ready to start on the next one. I mean, I just see that traveling to a new destination, you know, starting over. Ooh, two nights reversed. There's been a delay. There has been a delay. There's been a lack of growth, right? A lack of relationship growth. There's been a lack of, uh, of emotional fulfillment. Somebody has been in no hurry. There's been a lack of courage and a lack of confidence. Hmm. What a way to start out a reading. There's definitely been a delay. A delay in movement. Somebody's been stuck. Yeah, unhappy too. Somebody has been really unhappy. When, oh, see if I can speak. Unhappy, you know, unhappy. <laughs> Cut. There's been a lack of growth, okay? There's been a lack of growth somewhere. Somebody's been in an unhappy relationship or an unhappy state of mind. You know, they've just been really... I, I really feel like lacking confidence. Their energy has uh, maybe went through some sort of dip. But they may be regaining it now. Maybe they're starting to feel better. Somebody is probably starting to see things more clearly about where their happiness lies, right? <laughs> wow. You know, life isn't fair. Life isn't fair, and I feel like somebody has been through a, a, you know, situation that may have been unjustified. You know, they may have felt like this was unfair. They were treated unfairly. Maybe they felt like they were taken advantage of. But there's been a reluctance to let it go. There's been a reluctance to move on. And somebody, you know, you have to find the mental strength to... To persevere and to face your fears and to uh, take charge of your life, you know, even though life isn't fair and it doesn't treat you, you know, as you, you know, truly deserve sometimes, you know, you it may steal your energy and you may feel like, you know, you can't move on or you can't do this and you can't do that. You always do have the ability to take control and to start over. I feel like somebody has been really fearful about starting over, maybe starting a new relationship. They, somebody's been fearful about a relationship, about starting a new relationship. And I think it's because they've been through some sort of, you know, unfair situation where, you know, it's, it's stolen their confidence and it's, it's, it's really clouded their thoughts and, it's 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 left them feeling um, troubled, really, really troubled. But I, I I feel like we have somebody here that has made a decision to 
uh, take back their power in some way. Um, let's get some more cards. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Six of this is victory and success, okay? So this is this is taking a stand. This is recognizing, being recognized for their strength and their valor. Um, deciding to take that journey to peace and harmony after being stuck for quite some time in a lose-lose situation. So I, I really feel like somebody has found the strength or they're about to find the strength and the courage and the confidence that they were lacking to take a stand, to, you know, look at things from a different perspective. I feel like we have somebody here that is finding their confidence after losing it for a minute. You know, somebody went through a minute of discouragement, per se, negative thinking. And I feel like now somebody is taking back their power and regaining their strength after being in an unfair, lose-lose situation that kept them stuck. Now we have somebody here that is seeing things differently. It's like all of a sudden they may get this epiphany or they, they just start to see things different, differently. You know, they get this new perspective. You know, maybe they've, they've, just, they've done some homework or they've done some investigation or they've, you know, um, sought some guidance and they've received some information that has enlightened them. <coughs> Oh, Ace of Cups. This is love. This is new love. New love. Maybe there's a new love. After a loss, after a, a painful loss, you know, maybe there was a situation that didn't get no uh, satisfaction. And now they got this new love and there's an opportunity to let go of the painful ending, to let go of the hurt and start over. So, I, you know, I feel like somebody has been in a negative state of mind where... They have been holding on to the pain of a loss, but now there's a new opportunity for love here. So, I feel like that, that new love could be encouraging them to stop focusing on the hurt, to stop focusing on the pain, and, and uh, start over, you know? I mean, the Ten of Swords, it's like the worst is over. The wor And that's the Ten of Swords reversed. The worst is over. It's, it's time to break free. It's time to break free from that old mentality that you need to stay here, that you need to be unbalanced, that you need to, you know, let this unfair situation control the rest of your life. So I feel like somebody is finding the strength to really liberate themselves from a... unfair situation that left them fearful and lacking confidence and this could be a newfound self-love okay this isn't this is a new new love whether it's self-love or a new love okay i feel like somebody has been stuck in a in a relationship where there may not have been reciprocation and they were stuck there for quite some time feeling you know maybe that, you know, this is unfair, trying to figure out why, 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 when, you know, at this point, it, it really doesn't matter why. It, what matters is, is moving on and, and breaking free from the chains that keep you stuck. So, anyway, I feel as though the worst is over and somebody is making a decision to break free, I, you know, to, to sever the ties. Somebody is severing ties with something. Let's see. They're severing ties with a false sense of security. Somebody has been holding on to a false sense of a false foundation of the past, something that, you know, made them feel secure, but it's no longer secure, and they've been holding on to it for who knows what reason, but I think the ties are being severed. I think somebody has been sacrificing their time, their energy their happiness for something that has probably already been wiped away it's already been it's already fallen apart it's already crashed it's already done okay it's already 
it's already been finalized and I think that now we have somebody here that is finding the strength to to stand up and 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 you know actually deciding to sever those ties because they are realizing that there's 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 no hope there there's no there's no wish fulfillment there's no wish fulfillment holding on to this false sense of security so i feel like somebody is starting to it's almost like see the light it's oh, the page of swords Now this is a messenger. Somebody is curious. Somebody is really, really getting curious about a new opportunity. Somebody is curious about a new opportunity, a new idea. Somebody has this new idea, this new thought that has come in, this new opportunity perhaps for love it's like that's what it looks like to me but they've been reluctant to move forward they've been blocking it somebody has been blocking success blocking happiness blocking forward movement because of a false sense of security with something that has already crashed but they're very curious about another opportunity. It's like, oh, I see another opportunity. But they need to find the courage to actually face the opposition, face their fears, re you know, re find faith. It's like you need to replace your fear with faith just because this one went downhill or this one was unfair doesn't mean the next one is going to be. So somebody really needs to have some faith here. This is a card of purpose. There's a reason. This is purpose. There's a reason why, you know, things don't last. There is. There's a purpose why there's a purpose. There's a purpose why we evolve to to ev things happen as we as we age as we grow as we evolve you know i i feel like everything happens that everything that has happened has happened because there's a bigger purpose there's a bigger reason somebody has been reluctant to evolve then they've been reluctant to allow change they've been reluctant to cooperate they've they've been reluctant to let somebody help them This is also divine timing. This is also a card of healing. So I feel like we have somebody that has been taking so a lot of time to heal, which is very well needed. It was very well, it is very well needed. And maybe that's why they were reluctant to move on because they were healing, they were evolving, they were being enlightened so that they could be the best that they could be. So I really feel like we do have somebody that has been going through a period of healing. But and now it's like they are they're ready to take a risk perhaps, come out of hiding. But this is this is being weighed down somebody has been weighed down weighed down by thoughts maybe even legal issues somebody may have had some legal issues that have that have kept them stuck they may have been weighed down or lost their ambition or lost their focus or lost their drive because of Maybe there's been a loss of money or a loss of finances or a loss of some sort of legal issues may have caused somebody to uh, feel like they maybe they weren't good enough. The victim mentality right here. This is 
So we may have somebody here that has been stuck because of lack. And now maybe they maybe they realize something. I mean, this is realizing something. This is transitioning from being weighed down and transitioning from victim mentality and from, you know, loss and, and dashed expectations, transitioning from that and transitioning from not having the courage and not having the self-love and not having the confidence to having the confidence, you know, and being curious about you know happiness what is happiness you know where does my happiness lie anyhow I feel like we have somebody here that is absolutely healing they're evolving and perhaps the time is now for something what I don't know maybe it's time to build a new foundation you know the time is now and this foundation's cracked it's gone it's crashed maybe it's time to build a new foundation maybe they're realizing it's trying time to break free from the false foundation they're making a decision to you know bring balance and harmony back to their life in some way Somebody's been working really, really, really hard. Really hard. Really hard. Trying to build themselves back up. There's been a lot of conflict. There's been a lot of tension. There's been a lot of uh, push and pull, power struggles back and forth. I feel like we have somebody here that has been working hard to heal honestly heal from strife I mean wasn't one of the readings I did about strife this is heal strife they've been working hard to heal from strife you know life and you know because they've been in an unfair situation which may have taken cost them some money it's cost them some energy it's cost them some confidence and maybe even you know some confidence and some self-esteem and you know and I feel like now we have probably somebody who is starting to love themselves again and they're making a decision to break free break free from the thoughts the negativity the negative situation the false foundation that they've held on to the false sense of security Somebody is transitioning away from that. They're finding the strength and the courage and the confidence to <laughs> basically take charge of their life. Empress reversed. They, they, somebody's been struggling with the pain. Absolutely been struggling with the pain. Probably trying to not deal with the pain. Not letting the pain. Not releasing the pain. The Empress gives birth and that hurts. Somebody has been holding on to the pain and it needs to be released. You have to accept it. I do feel like we have somebody here though that is seeing a situation clearly. That King of Swords upright is a person that is starting to see a situation clearly. Perhaps the King of Swords did not value this person. That could certainly be the case. She's right underneath him. Didn't see a person's value. Didn't see a person's worth. Maybe now they want to put in effort. Maybe they're going to find the confidence and the courage to put in effort after they delayed it and blocked it. It's like there's curiosity. They're watching. They're watching. They're curious. And maybe maybe they're ready. Maybe they're ready to stop wasting their time. We have this person that has been really going through a spiritual enlightenment. And I think perhaps now the time is now. The time is now to make a move. I really feel like somebody may be making a move.
emperor. Yeah, somebody is. Somebody's making a decision. This is this is very decisive. We have we and this is her counterpart. This is this is it right here. These are these are meant to be. This is these are partners. This is her counterpart. He didn't see her worth. He didn't value her. Hair font on the bottom. This is the master of non-attachment. I mean, we may, may have had somebody here that was afraid of commitment. They were afraid of attachment, you know, and now they realize that they let go of an opportunity for something beautiful. I mean, the empress is abundant, beautiful, kind, compassionate. Anyhow, I don't want to go too far in this reading, but I feel like we have somebody here that has had no growth. They've had no growth and they've been living some sort of lie, some sort of, seriously, justice reverse. They've been living some sort of lie, holding on to a false sense of security, maybe even a third party situation with that three of cups. I feel like that's over with though. I feel like it's over now and I feel like somebody is wanting to go back to, you know, or they're wanting to, to heal a situation but they're going to need to find the courage and the confidence and the willpower to you know take the lead so this is this is taking the lead this guy takes the lead he's he is he's, he's the boss he's in control so i do feel like we have somebody here that is about to take the take the lead take control of a situation go after the times now go after the one that he may have treated unfairly I don't know who this is for you know I think the false sense of security you know the false foundation that somebody had held on to has now gone south I think that 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 has gone it's over with I think that third party if it was a third party situation if it was you know, whatever it was, it may have just been, you know, fake. And I feel like, you know, now somebody is seeing the love that they lost or they're losing. And uh, they may be deciding to put in effort and heal the situation with their counterpart that they didn't value. They may now be seeing the value is what I'm trying to say. They may be stepping down from their <laughs> ego. <laughs> Whoever this person is, they've been watching and they've been unhappy with, with, with the whole situation. And I feel like we have somebody here that is about to put in effort and, and really make an effort to heal a situation that they can't move on from. I don't know who this is. Maybe, maybe, maybe they're gonna, you know, come in with an offer of commitment. I don't, I, I don't know. This is commitment. I don't know who this reading is for, but I feel as though we have somebody here that is about to face some conflict. They're about to face their fears. Um, maybe they're gonna try to get back in the game. Um, they're going to take a risk because, you know, they know where their heart lies. I don't know who this reading is for. If they've been in a third party situation, if there's been another person, it's probably over. It probably has ended. This person has learned something and maybe they've evolved. Maybe they've changed. You know, they've changed. Perhaps. Can't say that for sure. Don't beat me up about that. I know. I know a lot of times it's people don't change, but I don't, I mean, this, this guy's in the upright and this guy's in the upright. So I, I, I feel like, I mean, there's a, there's potential that people, that people do change. People do change. I, I believe that. So I believe that we find, have somebody here that may be finding the courage and the confidence to step forward in regards to where they, their, their wish fulfillment really is. I think they haven't had their wishes fulfilled in their Situation. I mean, with this five of swords, I think somebody, you know, cut a person down, brought them to their knees, and maybe they realized what, maybe they realized that they treated another person unfairly, and, you know, whatever. 
anyhow, I feel as though there is probably going to be some movement after not being any move, not there not being any movement for quite some time. I think we have an emperor here that is about to, you know, take a stand. Okay, he's he he's very protective. He knows what he wants and he goes and he gets it. So I feel like we and that's what I got here. I feel like we have somebody here that is about to go after what they want. Phoenix rising. Don't know who this reading is for. Don't. It may not be for you. It may not be for me. It may not be for who knows who it's for, right? Phoenix rising. Everything in your life is falling apart in order for you to rise from the ashes with renewed strength. Remember I said there's a purpose. There's a purpose. There's a purpose why something crashed. Because there's there's a, something better. Everything in your life is falling apart in order for you to rise from the ashes with renewed strength. This is not a time to create, but a time to sweep away everything that has not worked in your life. The reason so many things are breaking down and not going your way is because the old cycle of your life is completing. You may feel that you are walking through the fires of life right now in order to be cleansed and purified for your rebirth. And this is a rebirth. Somebody's been not allowing it though, trying to control. That's why the Empress is reversed. You have to accept it. You have to accept the rebirth. Stop fighting it. Anyway. Okay, let me start over. The reason so many things are breaking down and not going your way is because the old cycle of your life is completing. You may feel that you are walking through the fires of life right now in order to be cleansed and purified for your rebirth. Soon, you will not recognize yourself. You are reclaiming your spirit. If possible, try to isolate yourself from the chaos surrounding you, which has been happening, right? Now is the time for you to feel any pain. Remember, I said you need to accept the pain. I tell you what, I don't even, I could, it's unbelievable the stuff that comes out of my mouth. Now is the time for you to feel any pain that you have previously suppressed so that you can heal. You have to deal with the pain. It's amazing. The universe has plans and opportunities that are better than you can imagine. I already told you this. I can't make it up. You know that I can't. Okay. The universe has plans and opportunities that are better than you can imagine. So, so let go and trust and anticipate what is coming. Somebody's, and, and you know, the temperance card is a blessing. That's a blessing. And I didn't say it. I don't know why. This is a blessing. Somebody is being given a blessing. And it's like they're denying it. It's time to live again. Come out of your period of denial and accept the pain. It's time for your rebirth. It's time to live again. Good luck. 